Welcome to Electron Online. Now that we know how to deal with equations, let's try our hand on some examples of how to turn a sentence or an expression into a mathematical equation. And yes, there are unknown numbers here, and we're going to let the unknown numbers be expressed in terms of x. We're going to use the letter x to represent an unknown number. Here we have the sentence, the sum of a number and 8 is 12. Now the word is represents the equal sign, and the, num and, the, and the word and represents addition. So the sum of a number and 8 can be written as x plus 8. This is the sum of a number plus 8 is, that's an equal sign, 12. So we set it equal to 12. Some unknown number plus 8 equals 12. The next sentence says a number minus 3 equals 7. We take an unknown number and we subtract 3 from that. Minus means subtraction, equals means the equal sign. So we take the unknown number, subtract 3 from that, x minus 3, an unknown number minus 3 equals 7. The next sentence says the sum of a number and 2 is equal to 11. So we're going to have an addition, that means the sum means an addition. A number, an unknown number, will represent by x, and we're going to add 2 to that. End means addition. An unknown number plus 2 equals 11. Equals, of course, is the equal sign. Here it says the sum of twice a number and 6. We're going to have an addition. We're going to add twice a number. Since we don't know what the unknown number is, we'll call it x. Twice the unknown number is 2x. 2x means 2 times the unknown number. An addition, because we have a sum, and we're going to say the sum of twice the number and 6, we're going to add 6 to that, and they tell us that it equals 10. The next sentence says that 5 more, more means addition, so we're going to add 5, added to twice a number. Now, 2x would be twice a number, 2x, and more means adding, and we're going to add 5 to that. So this reads, 5 more, we add 5 to twice a number, and then they tell us, here we go, 5 more than twice a the number, they tell us it's equal to 10. The next sentence reads, the product, that means multiplication, we're going to use a dot for that, the product of a number and 3, although we can say 3 times a number, 3 times x, or simply write 3x, the product of a number and 3, that means 3 times x, that's the product of a number and 3, and we say that that is equal to 9. 3x equals 9, so 3 times the unknown number equals 9. The next sentence says the sum of a number and 2. So we're adding a number to 2. So the sum plus a number and 2. So the sum of a number and 2 equals, oh, not yet, we're not done yet. And it says divided by 4. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to come over here because I need a little bit more room. Let's go right over there and try it again. So we have the sum of a number and 2. So that's a number plus 2. And now it says divided by 4. We're going to take that and we're going to divide it by 4. Like this. That's the sum of a number and 2. The whole thing divided by 4. And then they tell us that it's equal to 3. Is means the equal sign and 3. So this is equal to to 3. The next sentence says 3 times a number is equal to 2 more than twice a number. Now it's getting a little complicated, but that's okay. We'll take it one step at a time. First we write 3 times a number. We don't know what the unknown number is, so we call it x. 3 times that is 3x. So we start out with 3x. Alright, what else do we have? It is equal to, so we write an equal sign. So this says 3 times an unknown number is equal to, now what is it equal to? 2 more, well more means addition, 2 means the number 2, than twice the number. Hmm, 2 more than twice the number. Well twice the number is 2x and 2 more is add 2 to that. So now let's read it again. It says 3 times the number is equal to, 3 times the number is equal to, 2 more, 2 more, than twice the number, than 2 times the unknown number x. That's how we read that, and that's how we write that equation. The next sentence says 12 divided by a number. Okay, we take the number 12, 
and we divide it by the unknown number. This says 12 divided by a number equals, that means an equal sign, three times that number, three times x. So 12 divided by the unknown number equals three times that unknown number. And finally, six times a number, okay, we write six times the number x, minus three, we're going to subtract three from that, minus three is equal to, is equal to 24. So notice, this is how we write an expression in English into a mathematical expression. This is what we mean by the language of mathematics. We need to be able to read a sentence like this and then turn that into an equation like that. And later on, we're going to learn how to use that in word problems because they will write a few sentences and we're supposed to take those few sentences and convert them into equations like this that we can solve. So that's why we need to learn how to use the language of mathematics.